What up YouTube, this is your boy Wavy Wayne, and today I'm gonna show you how I like to use Autotune Pro, all right? So let's just go ahead, check it out, and show you the ins, the outs, and all around that little baby, you feel me? First thing first, Autotune Pro has actually come with a new feature and that's called the auto key. Now it's not even part of the auto tune plugin itself. It's a whole different plugin that you use. Auto key, what I like to do with this is actually just insert it on the track wherever my beat or instruments is at, right? And, and what it is gonna do for you is find the key. So I'll just go right to my pitch shift plugin here. I'm gonna hit auto key. And then I'll just simply play the record. And then as the record is playing, the auto tune, the auto key plugin will listen to that record and attempt to detect the key. Let's take a listen. Cool. So you see it's giving me B major right now. If if I don't think it's B major, I'll just click right there again for it to re-listen and rescan. And it'll take a little second to listen. Cool. And so the key that I'm getting right now is E flat minor. Now, honestly, in my experience, this auto key plugin hasn't been 100% accurate. Um, there's a lot of times when I just have to revert back to my old method of pulling out my keyboard to find the key, to pulling out my little piano app to find the key uh, of a song. Um, but maybe that's just because it's a, a, a two track beat. Maybe this will work better uh, with multi-tracks and I just put the uh, auto key on one uh, simple instrument at a time. Maybe that's the thing. I'm not sure. Um, Auto-tune people, Antares, holla at me see. Why the hell does this thing not always work, baby? <laughs> All right. Now, one of the coolest features about using this auto key plugin is that once you have detected your key, you can just hit send to auto-tune. Boom. And this should make this the key inside whatever plugin that you are working on. So now you see inside my plugin is set to E flat minor, okay? So just like that, it's, it's shot it on over there and I'm ready to go. Now that is a super, super useful feature. It's gonna save you a bunch of time um, in the studio. If you got a bunch of auto-tune plugins uh, across your tracks, you don't wanna have to go to each one and change the, the key manually, all right? Just by being able to hit that button to send that key over to the auto-tune plugin. Whew, thank you, Lord. <laughs> all right, now let's take a look inside the actual auto-tune uh, pro plugin, this new plugin here. Um, one of the main things that I want y'all to know of is that there is a low latency mode. Now, in my older versions of Auto-Tune, I used to just like to use um, uh, uh, the Auto-Tune EFX while I was tracking, and then I switch over to Auto-Tune Evo later for mixing and get more control. You don't have to do that with the new Auto-Tune Pro. If you go over to the settings, you can actually choose to use low latency mode. When you turn that on, it will reduce the latency so that your artist won't hear that crazy delay in the headphones while they actually singing with this auto-tune plugin inserted on the track. That'll save your life right there. You can probably stop this video right now because I know that's what you was looking for. <laughs> All right, let's keep on looking uh, at the rest of this plugin for everybody else who's still with us, all right? So besides that, again, we already got the key set um, and the scale set thanks to that new auto key feature. Um, but let's see my input type. It is important to set that. And since I am a male here um, with a low voice, I'm gonna go with the low male, but set it appropriately to whatever your input is, okay? So I'm gonna go with that low male setting. Now, let's look at some of these main features here. You see we got a few uh, knobs here to the side. Um, basically the retune speed. Now that's the main thing that we're gonna worry about here today is that retune speed. That determines how quickly um, the auto-tune plugin will correct the pitch of your note. If you want a T-Pain-y kind of sound, then you have a really fast retune speed. If you want it to sound more natural, then you can slow that retune speed down. Let's take a listen and see uh, what I might be sounding like if I recorded that sound. I'm about to record something real quick, you know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to 
say. Now you see. For somebody like me who can't sing at all, you probably want to turn that retune speed up a little more. If you got somebody that can sing, that got a little pipes on them, then it's cool to have that retune speed uh, uh, slower, okay? But for me, I need it all the way up. <laughs> all right, let's take a listen and see how I sound. And let's just see if this is even the right key that was detected. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I can't see, but I got auto tune. Auto tune say my life got me sounding right. Got auto tune. I don't know. session would probably be canceled if we did not have no auto tune <laughs> that's a fact <laughs> so, that's auto tune all right um that's with a fast retune speed now let's go ahead and play play with this uh vocal here that i tracked a little bit let's see what we sounding like auto tune say my life got me sounding right got a tune i don't know what i would do without you my cool so again if i slowed this retune speed down it would sound more um it, it would let more of my original pitch uh get through which uh depending on again your level of ability you may or may not want that to happen. So let's just see what happens if I go with about a 40 on this uh, retune speed. Auto tune, say my life got me sounding right. Got a tune, I don't know. So you can automatically hear that now some of the notes are really off and, and kind of bendy there. But let's see, if I turn this retune speed back up, this new Auto Tune Pro plugin has some features that can allow me to get a more natural sound even with a fast retune speed and this is uh, some of the pluses about it one of the new additions to this is going to be the flex tune now what the flex tune is going to do um basically it it, it definitely uh kind of gives you a more natural sound by um uh, not correcting the pitch for the whole duration more like at the start of the note um, as you're leading into the note the flex tune will correct that pitch and it will again this is all depending on how good you are man um let, let's just take a look and, and play with this a little bit auto tune say my life got me sounding right got a tune i don't know what i would do without you my so you see, you hear the difference there to where the flex tune is, is really um, uh, correct in the beginning of the note, but as the notes are a little bit more sustained, uh, is, is kind of letting that pitch relax a little bit more. Um, and so maybe that's not what I need right there, right? But when you have a, uh, somebody that can sing and, that, and their pitch is a little bit closer to where they need to be um, and, and you still need that fast retune speed though because maybe some of the initial notes are a little uh, uh, sharp or flat you can have a faster retune speed and use that flex tune to still balance out the, the rest of the note without having to sound too unnatural. All right, now let's come over here to the humanized uh, side over here. And again, this is just another feature to help you with getting a more natural sounding uh, vocal. Auto tune, say my life got me sounding right. Got a tune, I don't know what I would do without you. My clients too, they need you, they need you. So that helps to reduce a little bit of the robotic effect, but I'm telling you again, I, I must need that robot <laughs> in my life, all right? Um, you can also reduce the natural vibrato by uh, bringing the, this vibrato up or down. You can add more vibrato or, or reduce it depending on um, what your needs are. So let's, let's play with that and see how this will affect this vocal here. Auto tune, say my life got me sounding right. Got a tune, I don't know what I would do you my clients too they need you they need you <laughs> all 
I mean, you know, I, I, I'm not the best singer, but it is getting closer to where I need to be without sounding robotic, right? Uh, again, listen listen to that again, and I'll, I'll make some more adjustments here. Auto-tune, save my life, got me sounding right. Got tune I don't know what I would do without you. My clients too, they need you, they need you. The session would probably be canceled if we did not have no auto-tune. Right now we don't get that T pain effect here, but the the pitch is being corrected. Um, so using these different tools, uh, the flex tune uh, in combination with the humanize and the natural vibrato, maybe uh, 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 increasing it or decreasing it a little bit, that can really help you to get a natural sound if that's what you are looking for, or maybe you just want that kind of T painy effect, right? Auto-Tune um, Pro plugin has a, a feature to allow you to do that, right? Right here at the top of the plugin, if you hit the little classic button, it will get rid of the flex tune, and this will give you that real t painty kind of sound that everybody was used to that made Auto Tune popular. Auto Tune saved my life, got me sounding right. Got Auto Tune, I don't know what I would do without you. My clients too, they need you, they need you. The session would probably be canceled if we did not have no Auto Tune. All right, so that's a pretty cool feature right there um, to be able to revert back to the classic auto-tune settings. Um, something else that's pretty cool here, <clears throat> if I turn this off, it's this throat setting here, right? If you hit the uh, formant, and I can actually adjust this throat. Let's just take a listen, and you'll, you'll hear what this does automatically. Auto-tune, save my life, got me sounding right, got a tune, I don't know what I would do without you, my clients too, they need you, they need yeah. you. So you hear how that's kind of giving me a strange effect there, kind of affecting the tone of my voice. Auto-tune, save my life, got me sounding right, got a tune, I don't know what I would do without you, my clients too, they need you, they need you. You could also choose, choose to transpose your vocal if you wanted to here. And you can also detune. Now, detuning, um, if you're using like a, a sample that's not a perfect pitch, um, so you may need to detune a little bit, maybe a couple of cents high, a couple of cents low to get to the pitch of the music that you're working in. Sometimes the being perfectly in pitch, it's not always gonna be uh, right for the record that you're working on. All right. Um, now, there is uh, some advanced uh, settings here that I don't really use too much, but you see here, you got all of these different controls. Um, if you need to, you can go in and choose to bypass or remove individual notes that are included, um, that are uh, within this key of the song that you're working in. So for example, let's say that um, E flat, I just didn't want to ever hit the E flat. I could just go in and remove E flat. All right, and then no note, every note that was close to E flat would go to a different note. So um, that's how the remove work. Now bypass, what the bypass will actually do is that if I sing an E flat naturally, instead of tuning it, it will bypass my E flats and let my E flats stay natural. So that's a great feature to give you a lot more control over the vocal um, that you're working on. All right. Um, so yeah, you see, you got a bunch of other stuff where you can create vibrato inside the uh, inside this um, Auto Tune Pro plugin um, and, and all of that. But I don't, I don't really use those features too much. Um, but I might use these uh, occasionally to um, remove notes or bypass certain notes that I want or don't want to be saying um, during the performance. 
Um, you also have this graph mode, which is kind of like Melodyne for you, for those of y'all who are uh, familiar with Melodyne. But in this graph mode, you actually can um, go in and individually manipulate the um, separate notes. Auto tune, save my life, got me sounding right. Got a tune, I don't know what I would do without you. My clients. Right. And then I could go in here now and manipulate the pitch of each note um, and, and how it connects to the other note. Um, you know, you, if you're comfortable with Melodon, use that. Otherwise, this is a great tool all in one package for you right there. All right. That's the graph setting. All right. So let's get back over to my regular view here. All right, this is my basic view. This is probably where I'm gonna be at the most time. And let's see, if I wanna get a real auto tune soundy. Auto tune. Yo, one little key I'm gonna add on to this before we get up out of here. Um, you might wanna tell your clients to keep one headphone off when they use an auto tune. This is going to help them to hear their notes better um, in the room and kind of push toward that note, trying to get it right, right? Um, a lot of times when they are closed in and all they hearing is the auto tune sound, the pitch can get really wacky um, sometimes, especially if what you wanna go for is a natural sound. Um, taking that, that earphone off, one of them off, so that they can still hear their natural pitch um, is gonna be crucial for them to actually work towards getting closer to the note and you will get less of that um, robotic uh, auto tune pitch correct sound um, if that's not what you're going for. All right, so uh, let me uh, go ahead and do this too. Yeah. Shout out to you too. Yeah. Shout out to you, shout out to you. If you subscribe on YouTube, shout out to you, shout out to you. If you subscribe on YouTube, if you don't, then what you waiting on? If you don't, then what are you waiting on? You better go ahead. Hit the subscribe button <laughs> Yeah, and hit that little bell So you can get notified Every time that a new video goes up <laughs> Cause you know it's going up Yeah, Auto-Tone Pro See <laughs> And another tip, don't ever play your clients without the auto tune <laughs> they don't want to hear it mate <laughs> so that's how i like to use auto tune pro that was just a quick little walkthrough hope you found this video useful make sure you hit up wavywayne.com so you can get your own custom pro tools templates you can mix like wavy all right and if you need a mix done or if you need some mastering done you can hit up wavywayne.com too or shoot me an email and um don't forget to be dope.